So many of my clients with ADHD are constantly tidying and cleaning and trying to get on top of all of the mess of their house. Very literally, for quite a few of them, that's all they do. They've actually don't even hold down jobs because they're so focused on just trying to clean everything all the time. It's actually a lot more common than you might think. And here's the thing that's kind of crazy. They don't even like cleaning. They hate it. <laughs> it's the last thing that they want to be doing. But they have this narrative in their head that, oh, but how could I possibly go out and get a job when I can't even keep the house clean? Or the narrative also goes, oh, I just can't think clearly because it's so messy around me. Therefore, if I got rid of the mess, then I'd be able to think clearly and then do things. But until I do the cleaning, I won't be able to do any of the other stuff because the perception or perhaps the projection is that the external mess is the cause of all of the internal blockages. And if that were the case, yeah, then it would make sense that you'd have to clean first before you could move on with your life. You'd have to keep things spotless. But as we all know, that's not really possible, especially when you throw kids or a family into the mix. They don't seem to want to uh, cooperate with that agenda. So the thing that's really interesting though, is that these people at many times have had to get some work or do this or have really intense periods of, of busyness where they actually didn't have a chance to, to do any cleaning of the house. And they managed to do all of the other things just fine. In fact, they were generally doing a hell of a lot better. And this is something that I really come back to very often, is that people with ADHD, like, if, <laughs> if I have nothing to do with my day or my life, and I come and I am home and I wake up and there's mess everywhere, I'm gonna be overwhelmed, it's gonna be too much, and I won't have anything else to do, so I'll just get paralyzed by it. I won't rise to that challenge, I'll just be defeated by it. Because it's also, again, not something I want to be doing. My whole life will feel like a chore. But you take that exact same person. You say, hey, you're gonna go to this um, yoga class and then you're gonna go to this other class then you're gonna catch up with a friend for a coffee and then you're gonna have a business meeting and then you're gonna come back and uh, do some painting uh, with your friend who, who's arriving. And uh, then you might have five, 10 minutes to just do a quick tidy before they come, and uh, then you're gonna do this and this. First people go, oh, I couldn't possibly, because I have to tidy the house before I could do anything. And if you actually push past that, and they try doing a day like I just outlined, they do all the things in the five or 10 minutes of cleaning that they tr just squeeze in in their busy day, because they're doing so many other fun things, they clean more often in those 10 minutes than they have in the previous week actually made any progress because they had to and they wanted to and they got to rather than this pressure ah, I got have to ah. and it's really not that hard all you have to do is decide what you want to be doing with your life and if it's cleaning then go nuts but for many of us it's not in which case you know work any job make any amount of money if you have one hour of your life and you can use that, you know, 25 or whatever dollars that I make might make in one hour, I could pay that to someone else to do one hour of cleaning. And they will do so much more cleaning of my house than I would in that one hour. So that's of course the best way to do this. Because I get overwhelmed with, oh, but this and that and oh, but I need to take this to that place and this belongs to my great, 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 great grandma's daughter's nephew's dog, oh God. Someone else you pay, they come in, they just do it. They don't have any of those things. So it's more efficient. And then you don't have to do the thing that you don't want to be doing. So your life gets better. And you get the point, hopefully. You're someone, one of these people with ADHD who's constantly just overwhelmed by this pressure to clean. You feel like you can't get out ahead of it 
because of all the mess all around you, just stop, just do something else, just, just do something else. It doesn't matter. It's a mess, it, who cares? Literally, who cares? In an ideal world, you'd be so busy doing all these other things that are so much more important and interesting, you wouldn't even have time to worry about it or feel like a failure for not doing it. You definitely wouldn't have time for that. You'd be, you'd be too busy kicking butt in all these other areas. You wouldn't pencil that in. Oh, between 3 and 4 p.m. I could feel really bad about myself then. Oh, good, I've got a busy schedule, but I could squeeze it into that slot. You wouldn't do that. Be busy, having an awesome life, and you won't have time or space to do this worrying and awful nah, brain stuff. Just don't. And any money you make, you could just use to pay someone else to do the job. And that might sound like an awfully privileged position, but it's not when you actually do the math. <laughs> it's actually crazy not to. But many of us don't feel like we could afford to spend a one hour wage or two hour wage on a cleaner. So instead we spend 10 hours hating ourselves for not cleaning. It's crazy. The economies of that is just nuts. So, you know, you get the picture. Anyway. Thank you for your time. This brings us to yet another, the end of yet another video. If you like this, if you like my style, like and subscribe because I make a new video every single day. And if you want to see what I talk about tomorrow, well, you'll have to tune in. So, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.